Welcome to my first tutorial. Um, today I'm going to show you how I achieve this ripple effect. Um, it's actually quite simple. A few things that you'll need. Um, I use Mod Podge. Uh, you can get this at most places, Walmart, Target, um, in the craft section. It's actually a really good product. If you don't put it on too thick, it dries quite fast. Um, you may get a tad bit of cloudiness on a really, really humid day. Because just like PVA glue, it will absorb moisture. But um, I really like it. And what I've done is I have put it in just a squeeze bottle. It's a lot easier to get it into areas um, where I don't want to risk it dripping off of a brush. And you will also need just an old paintbrush. I actually like this one. It has. Um, it has sort of this curved tip where it's been worn out and um, I actually use that curve to my advantage I'll show you how I do that okay the first thing we'll do is put the Mod Podge in the pool not very much uh, we don't want it thick we just want enough to be able to push it around a little bit spread this out and see how much we have here also you'll want like a paper towel or some napkins to clean the end of your brush looks like I've got actually a little bit of thick Mod Podge there I need to scoop out real quick and just push that around and just get it actually filled into the whole area in which you're trying to apply it it really don't matter about the thickness because you're going to be pushing it around anyway. Um, I just get it just thick enough to where I can maybe barely see the color of the pool underneath shining through. And I'm going to just speed through this here real quick. Okay, once we have the Mod Podge spread out, what we want to do is just start from the center of the spout and just simply make rings. Um, after doing this for a while, I realized the best method was to actually try to load it up onto your brush as you're pushing it around and wipe it off, not try to actually leave it in the pool or push it around but actually just scoop it out that's why I like the curved tip on this old brush because I can sort of just grab the Mod Podge and just pull it right out I know this is a simple technique um, and anyone probably could have figured this out but I've had two or three people ask me how I achieved it and I've been wanting to share some of my technique with you guys anyway so I'm just going to speed through this and when we get to the end we'll talk about what we have achieved Get into some of the outer rings around four, fourth or fifth ring. I start breaking them up a little bit because this is at the point in like a natural pond where you see the ripples starting to get a little bit of break in them, and um, it gives it a nice effect.
you have it. We'll come back when this dries <clears throat> and have a look at it, but there's a few things I wanted to tell you. Um, for one, the spout is made out of plastic. Um, spout is made out of plastic, um, like the plastic you would find on like a battery pack or something. Um, and that plastic is made to be molded, so if you heat it, you can shape it pretty much however you want it. And um, I use gel super glue um, instead of, because of course I've cast this out of plaster. And um, instead of it seeping into the plaster before I can even attach the plastic, it'll sit there and I can put the plastic into it and the, the gel will dry. And then I'll just put the bottom in place and pour my water. Now as far as what I put the Mod Podge on, um, it's just the basic realistic water by Woodland Scenics. Um, I poured it in in two layers to around an eighth of an inch per layer <clears throat> and um, the thing about the Mod Podge I mean the realistic water is you don't want to try to experiment and put Mod Podge under it um, it has a bad effect uh, the realistic water does when poured on a PBA which Mod Podge is a PA, PBA um, it'll cloud up under the realistic water and it will not clear. Um, I had that problem on one of these. Um, the problem I had though was that I had put sand in the bottom of the fountain and had glued it in place, put paint over like two layers, two or three layers of paint. And um, then when I poured the realistic water on it, it just soaked that PVA right up to it and it just turned completely cloudy. Um, so yeah, definitely if you use the Woodland Scenics Realistic Water, do not pour it on PBA. But as far as putting it on it, it works really good. Um, usually what I'll do also is after I get the rings made, I'll get a little bit of Mod Podge on my brush and go ahead and just start streaking the spout. Now I'll work this some more later with some um, Liquitex heavy gel but I like to go ahead and put just a little bit of this on there just to give it a little texture. Now, the heavy gel is not like the realistic water it will not turn this into a cloudy mess and there you have it um, I'll let this dry and come back and give you a look at what it looks like. Uh, it should turn out like this. You see the water spout on that. That's the, um, let me get a better, there we go. That is the heavy gel, Liquitex heavy gel gloss. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching my video.